Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some nice things. Just some things that I really, really like at the moment. I've got some beauty bits, I've got some housey bits, I've got some wellness bits, and I've got a couple of random things that I really love and also would make for great gifts. I know that um, there's a lot going on in the world right now and I think that the most important thing is that we all look after each other and look after ourselves. So when I was picking out all the bits uh, for today's video, I was kind of looking for stuff that just makes me feel really happy, makes me feel really calm and just bits that I just love and I think that we're all spending a lot more time at home at the moment and yeah, I just really hope that some of this stuff might help you guys. I'm going to start off with the, the beauty products. Now a lot of you guys know that I love my baths, right? By the way, go and get like a drink or something because this video might be quite long and I'm just going to be chit chatting. It's basically like, you know, when you go shopping, uh, when you were young, you would go shopping, you'd come home and you'd lay out all your stuff to like show someone like your mum or your dad or whatever. You'd be like, look at everything I got. It's not really a haul unless you, you do that. So this is what I'm doing, but for you. There's a couple of bath products in here. I love my bubble baths. They are probably the favourite parts of my week are my bubble baths. Uh, the first thing I've got is a bath foam. They do the nicest bath soaks. Neil Jard are, are quite like a kind of wellness driven brand I feel. This one is called Beauty Sleep which is a calming blend of organic yang yang, clary sage and patchouli. So it's very chill which is just my favourite. So I love using this one before I go to bed. But what I would recommend if you're in the market for some nice bath foam then have a look through their website. I think you can get loads of them on Amazon as well and see what one kind of speaks to you the best. There was one that I really loved and it was for wellness and it was just another really calming bath. There's also one that's kind of uplifting as well. It's nice and citrusy, so shop about, shop about, but this one's absolutely beautiful. I've only used it once. Oh my God. Do you know a spell? It smells like a spa. It kind of smells like the Lush spa. Have you ever been to the Lush spa before? So good. Especially because winter's coming up. Bath, baths are no, no longer just a luxury. They are an essential to keep my feet attached to my body because it gets really cold in Scotland. Next we have bath salts. I love bath salts. I love bath salts so much. I actually did a partnership with Dr. Teals a little while ago uh, and I had the most fun doing it and I couldn't believe that I had a job talking about bath salts. This is the new one. I've not tried this one yet. It just got sent to me. It's the coconut oil to nourish and protect skin really nice for winter. I really love the Epsom salts. I really love the one that is just for, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like just before bed. There's another one that is for sore muscles. So when I used to move, move my body, that was great. Not really move my body for a long time. Bath salts make a huge difference. And what I recommend is putting enough in that's gonna make a difference. And you need to make sure that you sit in your bath for 20 minutes and that is what's gonna help. But it really is really fab for helping detoxify. It's really Really good for pulling any kind of water weight out which is great because I get really really puffy so I enjoy anything that reduces my water weight. See this combination is a winner. And the next products are they're actionable products for the bath so this is and it's so funny that I love these so much but they really work. Look how obsessed I am. This is not my first go at these either. So I have here the Whey Shampoo and Conditioner for Medium Hair. What's great about these is when you run out, you can see that this bottle looks quite used. I bought the refill for both of these actually. So what you can do is you, once you've got the actual like bottle, you can buy big bags and I think you get enough to fill three bottles up, but you get it for the price of two bottles. So um, not only is it eco-friendly, uh, you're saving a little bit of money as well. I kind of use these the most and then I've got my Redken Extreme. I've got a couple of shampoos that I go between but I probably use this one the most and the last time that I saw my hairdresser Jack Baxter he said that my hair was looking really good. He, I actually asked what I'd been using. So these work. I really like them and they smell really nice as well. Makes your hair smell nice. The Way Body Cleanser is by far the best shower gel I think I've ever used. I really like Aesop shower gel as well. My bathroom, by the way, is where I, where I splurge. I love nice hand soap and I love nice bath foam. Face wash, everything. So my bathroom's a little bit of a haven for me. But the body cleanser, oh my God, it's so good. It smells really fresh, but it's still kind of expensive. It smells like quite luxe to me and it's a really sticky shower gel. So one little dollop will do your whole bod. And I'm just obsessed. This is my third bottle that I've bought. I love it. I absolutely love it. So those are my bath essentials at the moment. I can do a review of those if you so please. 
I try a lot of bath stuff out. Okay, I think I'm gonna go on to wellness next. This is actually something that I've spoken about loads of times. Now, I get a little bit achy, painy. I think it's from my years as a makeup artist, this shoulder. When I would do makeup, I'd always have my head tilted like this and I'd always be going in like this and I've got a bit of a funny shoulder because of it. In a normal situation, I'd probably go and get a massage or something like that, but we weren't able to for a long time. So I was feeling achy and sore. I've spoken about this quite a few times, but I think it's really, really important and it's really good. This is the Wildflower CBD Cool Stick and it's got 300 milligrams of CBD in it. So I've got a funny shoulder and then bum on my back, you know, aches and pains, just general. But there's sometimes it gets really bad that I feel really uncomfortable sitting down, even lying in my bed, you know, I'm just kind of lying and I'm just sore and it's stopping me from sleeping. It's like a roll-on deodorant almost. You can see that we've used this loads. Jack actually really loves this as well. I've had countless messages from people saying that they went and got this because of my recommendation and it's people that suffer from chronic pain like arthritis, sciatica, um, load, they're just loads of stuff and it so helps. It's really fast acting. It feels that kind of minty way. It smells nice as well. It just smells like mint, well really, like mint. It cools the area really, really quickly and then the CBD actually, like it works over time as well. But this is something that I've been using, I think this is maybe our third one of these. And you know, sometimes I think that people can just sit in their pain quite, you know, you just kind of get used to it. But there are, there are things that you can do to help yourself. Which brings me on to my next product. These, <laughs> I've spoken about these before as well. I call them my happy pills. <laughs> they're not happy pills, they're like herbal remedies, right? But this is... Valerian. Valerian is a plant extract. It is a total herbal remedy. Uh, let me just see how if it explains how it works because I actually don't know. I'm going to google it so I can actually look knowledgeable. It's all the ball. So Valerian is, is a plant extract. It's completely natural. Basically it, it really helps with anxiety and stress. A lot of people take it at night time to help them sleep as well. See on those days where you're just feeling like things are a bit much, you're getting a bit stressed out. I usually take two of these tablets and within half an hour or an hour my brain can just really process everything that's going on. And the things that were really worrying me before I'm kind of like... <laughs> What was I worried about? My mum got me onto this. If things are really busy with work or if I'm just feeling a bit stressed and she got me onto it, it really, really helps me. Really helps me. My next capsule, my next happy pill, these are the innermost relaxed capsules. They, these were sent to me from Cult Beauty and they do loads of different kind of supplements and, and herbal remedies. This helps with clarity of thought and reducing stress, improving mood and promote relaxation. So I actually had two of these this morning uh, and I had two of them yesterday as well. And it's funny because I, I, I've kind of spoke about this before, I am really lucky in a way that I don't suffer from anxiety or depression or, or any, I think, any kind of mental health. But yesterday I woke up and I had like the blues a little bit and I was just sitting on the couch and I was like, I really don't feel great today. And I said to Jack, I was like, I'm not feeling good at all. I feel like going back to my bed. And I was kind of sitting and I, I was sitting feeling like this and I was like, no, I'm going to do something about this. So I got up, I went upstairs, I made our bed, I took two of these capsules and I took my CBD and honestly within an hour I was like, I feel like a new person. I actually feel like a new person. I am not at all saying that anyone needs this and I actually don't know. Talking about supplements is fine, right? I, I don't even know. But this is just stuff that so helped me and it really can change the direction in which my day is going because it is a tricky time and even people that don't suffer with mental health issues are still feeling really maybe not great at the moment. So I just wanted to talk about these in case any of you feel the same and you need a little bit of help because my happy pills have been helping me a lot. I mentioned CBD there. This is the CBD that I've been taking. This is the Apothem Day Drops and this has 3000 milligrams of CBD. So what you do is you take five to six drops underneath your tongue and you let it sit there for a minute and then you can just swallow it. This one tastes kind of lemony. It's nice. I've had CBD before that has not tasted nice. And you have to let it sit in your mouth for a minute. So I really didn't like that. And my mum and dad have actually tried this one as well. And they actually said that this is probably one of the CBDs that they've felt the most effects from and by effects I just mean calmness again it's just calmness it's all about calmness none of these are going to make you feel anything other than less stressed they're not drugs do you know what I mean well they kind of are are they drugs no they're not drugs that leads me on to some random bits let's talk about candles right I feel like I could talk about candles all day I have really strong opinions about candles and I've got a lot to say about candles and I have a lot of favourite candles. I feel like I've done the legwork and I'm going to show you two candles that I think 
are absolutely amazing. The first one I'm going to talk about, we've had loads of these. This is the NARS Monoi Candle. They have a body oil with the same scent, which I absolutely love. And this was actually the scent of me and Jack's wedding. So it really takes me back. You know that they say that smell is one of the senses that can really transport you back to where you were when you first smelled it and things like that. It's so true and whenever I smell this candle, it just reminds me of my wedding dinner. It just reminds me of sitting down with all the people that I care about the most. If you want to be part of me and Jack's wedding day, this is the candle that will transport you there. What a gorgeous smell. It smells like Tahitian vanilla, but it's got a deep a depth to it. It might be a little bit of jasmine or something in there. I think it's Ylang Ylang. Listen to me, fragrance nose. This candle is just one of my all time favorites. It like stirs up an emotion in me that's like down at the pit of my stomach. I just love it. I love it so much. My next candle, I'm obsessed with this brand's fragrances as well. This is the Replica by The Fireplace and it literally smells like a bougie ski lodge that's got a lit fire. Oh my god. So my house probably smells like this candle the most. It really reminds me of Feu de Bois by Diptyque. It's got that same kind of smokiness to it. It's like wood fire and vanilla mixed together. It is absolutely beautiful and like this one's brand spanking new. I found it in a, I had a cloche that had this inside it so I just thought it was empty. Brand new. So I'm actually going to light this today while I put up my Christmas tree on the 1st of November. If you can put your tree up early any year, it's this year. Those two smells are like up there for me. The Dip Cheek Food de Bois as well, I'm going to link that one too because that is probably one of my all time favourite scents. We had two of the huge candles, which are actually both finished now, which makes me really sad. But um, they're just gorgeous. And plus with Dip Cheek candles, what you can do, I saw this on Fleur de Force's story on Instagram, but you can boil a kettle, put it in your candle, all the wax, goes to the top and then when it cools down it solidifies and you can literally just pick the wax out give it a clean and it's like spotless so that's what i keep my cotton buds in how cute double purpose uh before i get into the kind of housey stuff and the kind of gifty stuff uh i'm going to talk about a book right so i got given this um as a present from urban decay with their new stoned palette because the palette's infused with tourmaline which is like a real crystal and they gave us this book which is called The Crystal Code and it's by Tamara Dryson. I hope I'm saying that right. I love this. I don't know if what you guys are like. Some people love crystals, some people don't and that's totally fine. Everyone can enjoy whatever they like. If you are interested in crystals and spirituality and even astrology to a to degree, this book is such a great place to start. I think this would make a really, really lovely gift for someone as well. So I have quite a lot of crystals. I've not really spoken about this before. I'm quite a spiritual person. This is my favourite part of this book, right? It's called The Crystal Guide. And I've been using it a lot recently because I've got crystals there and I know what they are and I know roughly what they will do for me. But there are some that I didn't know much about. So basically, this has the most gorgeous pictures of all these crystals. They basically tell you what the crystals are, what they're for, what they're going to help you with, what chakra you should put the, where you should put the crystal and the chakras. Like I've got amethyst next to my bed because it told me to. Helps relieve headaches and migraines. How cool is this? Like I actually sit and just read this book because I find it so interesting. And it actually helped me recently. I was going down to London and I was really nervous. I took a little crystal with me. I took a little citrine and I kept it in my chest pocket of my jacket. So I really love this book. I think it's great. And I think there's a lot of people that are kind of tuning into the vibes at the moment. Great book. Another great gift, and this is actually something I think my mum and dad got me this for my Christmas last year or the year before. This is basically a tiny little jewellery box. So when um, when me and Jack used to travel all the time, I would take my, my precious kind of jewellery, but I would pretty much wear it all, all the time. And I didn't want to do that. This basically has all my most precious, oh look how gorge. It's from a, a brand called Stackers, but they've got a little bit for your rings, which I actually put some rings and some hoop earrings. I've got my kind of bigger hoop earrings just sitting on the top. I've got any kind of like little charms that I've got. Oh, how cute is this? This makes me want to cry. So see this little brown paper. This is, a, this is a, a family diamond that we've got. It was my Nana's. And it literally is just a tight, like I'm going to show you close. Look at her cute little writing. Look at that. Can you see? Diamond. 
and my mum had it for a really long time and then she lost it. We thought that we'd lost it or they thought that they'd lost it and, they, and my mum was really upset because she really wanted to give me this diamond and, and turn it into you know a piece of jewellery or something and then um, she found it and it was really exciting. It was really cool so that is so precious to me. So you know when I look at this it just makes me really really happy. The next thing I've got, right this is such a weird one but I've been using them a lot. I used to get asked a lot of questions whenever I would wear them when I was out and about. These are my headphones. I can't hear the thing. They are soundproof. I actually can't hear. I can't. I can't hear myself. These are the Bose headphones. They are expensive, but I bought these for myself three years ago, maybe, maybe even longer than that. I think probably about three years ago. You can see that they're kind of a bit scuffed. I don't look after them as much as I should. I just chuck them in my bag. They're the best headphones. See if you need to get someone a gift or you just want to buy yourself a nice treat. What amazing things. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Because me and Jack sometimes will lie in bed and we want to watch different stuff. I'll just chuck my headphones on and I'm more than happy to do that because they're so sound cancelling that it just feels like I'm in a little bubble. For travelling, can't imagine what I would do without these. I actually have never forgot these on a flight or anything because I just know how important they are. I'll link them but they're so brilliant. They're so good. Oh my god I'm really done. I don't know what to end on. Right okay back to home wares. This Reed Diffuser is amazing. I just got one as a gift for someone actually as well. So it's a brand called Dr. Vranier's. I think that's how you say it. But the reason that I found this brand was when me and Jack were in Italy, we stayed at the Four Seasons in Florence and the whole place smelled unbelievable and I didn't understand how. And then we turned around the corner and there was this huge reed diffuser that was no, it was probably like 10 litres. This one right here is 500 mil. So can you imagine what 10 litres looks like? It was like the biggest. I can't explain to you how big it was. I was obsessed with the scents. I was obsessed with the smells. We've got a couple of scents in our house. We've got Chinotto Pepe, I think it's called, which is like a really kind of light, citrusy, peppery smell. It's really nice. It's really fresh. This one right here is much more intense. I think I prefer this one just because of the way that I like smells. So this was amber, so it's obviously amber. Oh, it's a very sexy smell. I spoke about this in a blog before, if you're wondering uh, why you remember the name. But they're not cheap, but I've had this for months and look, it's just gone down that much. Can you believe it? So they last a really long time. See when you spend money on stuff like this though, like especially reed diffusers, the alcohol content in them will be much lower and the actual oils that, that, that create the scent are much higher. So it just lasts longer. So actually like I, it's a bit of an investment, but it will last. And every time I see this, it reminds me of Italy. It reminds me of how much fun we had. I just really, really love them. And I think they make for such gorgeous gifts. If you're wanting to go for a big one, this one was expensive, but it was, I think it's 1,250 mil. And it's a bit, it's quite big. Like it's just, it was substantial. That's a great size. This one here is fab as well though. This is a cheeky one because I didn't buy this for myself. This was for my birthday. I love my mug so much. It reminds me of Diana. This mug here, Charlotte actually got me for my birthday. I use it for my herbal teas because it's absolutely massive. Because my coffee, I don't have much coffee in the morning. He's great. And he's a topic of conversation. People enjoy this mug. Whenever I use this mug in meetings, people are like, Jamie, what are you drinking out of? And I'm like, so cool. So I hope Charlotte doesn't mind, but I went and found where you can get this, which I know is rude. If it feels rude to me, you know, sourcing, sourcing presents. But I know how many of you liked this mug and I'll link it down below. Last housey bit is my gold palm tree. I got this at Silver Birch. And if you don't know where, what Silver Birch is, it's a garden center that I really, really love. It's in Scotland and not everyone lives in Scotland and you can't buy anything online, unfortunately, but it's my favorite place. I got this at Silver Birch the last time. I love palm trees. This is probably the only palm tree I'll see this year. And yeah, I just think it's so cool. You can see that I've been using my little long candles. I like things that are a little gaudy, if I'm honest. But I wanted to show you this one because I just, I really do love it. It's one of my favorite things at the moment. Every time I see it, it makes me smile. And if you are looking for stuff that's quite similar to this style, there's actually a couple of websites that I really like, but the main one is Rocket St. George. If you've not shopped on Rocket St. George before and you like this kind of stuff, prepare your bodies because it's amazing. It's so good. I've got some really nice vases from Rocket St. George. There's a, we've got a print upstairs that I really like. It's just a really cool website. So that's kind of similar to this. If you can't get to Silver Birch, Rocket St. George. Last thing 
ending on a high note, my water bottle. I have had this for a really long time and it's time to get a new one because I don't know what happened, but there's a little rubber part that's got lost. So every time that I go, when I'm a bit overzealous with my water, if I was to pour this up, it would all just come out. So I need to buy a new one, but this has lasted me a year and a half, two years. Again, we're all spending a lot more time at home. I forget to drink water. See, when I'm in my house and I've had coffee and I have a tea, I forget to actually just drink water. If I fill this up at the start of the day and challenge myself to drink all of it, I'll at least drink half. And I think it's important that we're all staying hydrated, we're all staying calm, comfortable and hydrated. So this water bottle, whenever I talk about it or show it on my Instagram stories and stuff, a lot of you guys ask, so I'll, I'll link that down below as well. And there we have it. A haul. That was a big haul. So you guys, that's all my favourite bits at the moment. Do you know what I really like about this little haul? I didn't actually buy anything new. This is all stuff that I had. It's all just stuff that I really enjoy in my house. And I think that some of you guys might as well. I know things are really tricky at the moment, so I'm going to do my best to be a happy distraction. We'll keep the mood up. We're all in this together. I'm going to try and be as present as possible. Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, Instagram lives where we can all just hang out and do makeup. I'm going to be creating videos, not just makeup ones, but just, just videos that will hopefully make you smile and that you'll enjoy. Yeah, I hope that you guys are all staying safe and well. If you have any favourites that are in the same realm that you think I need, please let me know down below. Like I said, we're all in this together. This is the two-way street. As always, I'll link everything that I spoke about down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! <sighs> it's because I refilled it up. Refilled it up. I've got a dog here in my face. Let me just start by saying that this is all a lie. Well, it's not a lie. I do look like this, but I also look like this. Especially because it's winter in the UK. I'm filming this uh, the day after. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't know why I did that. The way, oh god, I've got all the labels the wrong way around. It's a chemical, oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> got a mono oil body oil. <laughs> what? Feu de bois from Diptyque. Sorry. Why have I got indigestion? I'm just trying to feel. I don't have nails. I've got baby nails for the next little while. Look at them. They are cute though, look. Hey, they're sweet, aren't they? Cute. Okay. Bye.